This is Umar for Box Nation. I'm joined by Colin Art. We've both recovered from a long week out in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. We're back in London. Just get your reflections on a, on a great fight between Fury and Usyk. But Colin, you said to me immediately after the fight that you had it wide to Usyk. Yeah, I mean, uh, it would, the result wasn't a surprise to me. I was telling everybody before the fight, I wasn't alone, that I thought Usyk was going to win on points. He won the fight. It was close. It was a very good fight, but the right winner. How did you have the the early to mid rounds? Because a lot of the the scorecards or, or people's opinions was that Fury was dominating the fight mid rounds. Well, I wouldn't say he was dominating. He probably won several of the uh, uh, first six rounds, but after halfway, I'm afraid he started to fall apart. Um, and that ninth round, he was very fortunate to survive it. Do you think it should have been stopped in the night? No, I don't, um, because a lot of people said to me when I got home that fight should have been stopped, and I disagree because he was uh, Fury had fallen back into the ropes, and if a referee decides that a fighter is caught by the ropes or caught against the ropes, and his defenseless is entitled to give a, a mandatory eight count, which he did. Then, of course, he was lucky, uh, Tyson, the bell sounded. Otherwise, I was sure he would have been knocked out. Frank's just, uh, well, he told me yesterday that Tyson's called for an immediate rematch. Uh, Frank, can I just let you bring you into this? I've just seen you texting Simon Jordan, but I won't repeat what was said on the text, Frank. <laughs> I told him I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> uh, Frank, Colin had it wide to Usyk. I don't agree. Reasons for that? Well, I just don't agree. It's not my skill. And I thought it was a very close fight. Um, and I watched it back last night, and I think he, he just nicked it. I don't think it... The big round in the ninth round, I thought the early rounds... He lost the first round. I gave him most of the rounds up until the sixth, four or five rounds there. Seventh, and he lost the eighth. Two points in the ninth. Tenth, eleventh. Tyson, in my opinion, won the last. It's a great fight, and everybody's got an opinion, and they're entitled to their opinions. Colin, thoughts on that? How many rounds do you give to Fury? I didn't score it by rounds, I scored by points. And uh, I had, I think 115, 112 was probably about right for me. You know, it was close, it was an excellent fight, but, um, yeah. And, but, you know, I know I don't want to sound like a smart so-and-so, but I did say I thought Usyk was going to win on points. Weeks before of the fight, you guys were interviewing me at various press conferences. I never wavered. I honestly believe Tyson is it starting to decline. I think the three Wilder fights are beginning to catch up with him. His lifestyle, when he blows up in weight and has to get it off, he constantly does it, and I don't think, as you get older, that is very helpful. Frank, just get you a little bit closer, just in shot. Um, yeah, thoughts on, on the decline, Tyson Collins says? Well, look, uh, you know, they, they're tough fights. They're not getting any younger. It's tough. They, they are, he's been in tough fights and gruelling fights that he's come through. Um, I don't know about it. I mean, I, went to the, I was in both the guys' dressing rooms after the fight. I was in the dressing with Tyson who gave everything, and come back strong in the 12th round. I thought he definitely won that 12th round. And going back in afterwards, I went back to congratulate Usyk and his team in their dressing room. And like Tyson, he'd been in a fight. He was banged up, his eyes were banged up. He had a cut, which is above his eye, which uh, I thought was quite ironic, considering that's what we was all worried about with Tyson. And, you know, tr true warriors to both of them. And that was the moment when the doctor said to him, and his camp said he had to go to, a, they wanted him to go to a, hospital to check that his jaw was broken and Aegis told me at the airport that in fact wasn't broken but he it had it impact it impacted an implant in his tooth an implanted tooth or something but irrespective of that they that, they gave everything and that fight will not just take it's taken a lot out of Tyson it's taken a lot out of Usyk too you know Usyk is two years older than Tyson but you know when you think about it Usyk has never stopped anybody for goodness knows how long. All the fights he won as a cruiserweight, but the distance fights, the few fights he's had as a heavyweight. You know, 
I think the last one he stopped was Tony Bellew. He knocked Tony well, Bellew out. Tony Bellew, yeah, it was a built-up lie everywhere as well. Um, but when you think about it, what he did to Tyson in that ninth round, no other person has ever done, no other fighter has ever done that to Tyson. And you know what? Two or three years ago, Usyk wouldn't have been able to do that to Tyson Fury. I'm sure I should correct that. He should stop Daniel Dubois. He stopped Daniel Dubois, he stopped Derek Chisora. And he uh, stopped no, he went the distance with Derek. Uh, um, Chad Dawson. I think well, he did, did he? No, he went the distance with Chad. Uh, Daniel Dubois and Tony he, Bellew. He caught him with a lot of punches. A lot of punches. And Tyson, to his credit, came out in the next round. And, you know, obviously, you're coming back from, from you know, quite a... You know, quite getting caught with so many shots. You're coming back. You're looking to try and survive. And he done well to get through the round. He wasn't in trouble in that, in that next round. And nor is he in any serious trouble right up until the end of the fight. You know, I scored it uh, the last round as Frank did. He might be remarkably, Tyson won the last round. You know, but they're gritty, great fighters. They're great. The two best fighters of their generation, no doubt about it. And they served up a magnificent fight for everybody to watch. Okay. And just lastly, should he take that immediate rematch, in your opinion, Tyson? Well, he's got it in his contract, so there's no reason why he shouldn't take it. But, again, we're talking about a long way away, and I honestly believe we'll get the same result next time, and it might even be a bit bigger. Okay, we shall find out, Frank, in October. Well, we will find out in October, and if, it's, if Tyson does what he should have done, certainly in the round before, the round before he got hit... That, that gave him a problem, that getting hit on the nose. I he kept touching his nose. I don't know what happened there. I thought he broke his nose, but I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure whether he did or not. But the round before that and the round before that, he, was kept, he caught in some great uppercuts and stiffened him up a couple of times. But, that, but that's what happens, and I we mean, will see. You've got a hand to, to Usyk. He's got incredible powers of recovery. Tyson hit him flush on the chin with the right hand. His legs wobbled. I thought, hello, yeah, yeah. he's going to be... I've got an early finish, and then two seconds later, he'd shaken it off. Which shows you just how fit the old man was. He, he has tremendous powers of recovery, as does Tyson, as was proven. Yeah. As been proven time and time again with Tyson. Yeah. And, so, I mean, look, you, 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 the result is the result. No complaints. Zero complaints. You know, on the night, he came through and done what he had to do. And Tyson did what he had to do. It takes two to make a great fight. And that's what it was, two magnificent, two magnificent boxers in there. You, you know, very often people say, oh, no, not a return, don't want to see that. People won't. If there is a return on October the 12th, people will buy it and they can't wait to see what happens a second time. Absolutely. It's I know, a bigger fight. It is a bigger fight. I know Frank was, I spoke to him yesterday, was unhappy with certain sections of the UK media, UK press and in terms of the articles they were putting out about Tyson, some of the comments, um, Colin? Um, well, well, were they boxing writers? They well, weren't. You said they weren't. Yeah. Well, that's the, the ones who show up yeah. once in a blue I mean, moon. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you can't legislate for people who've never been to boxing and have a very firm opinion about what they don't know. OK, guys, well, we're here for a brilliant press conference today, some big announcements. Frank and Colin, appreciate your time. We'll speak soon. It's a pleasure. And you know, you were guest of honour, don't you, out there? His Excellency's guest of honour. Yeah, he went out there yeah. in appreciation for all the all the work he's done over the years, the superb writing, and and he's the doyen of British boxing journalists. No doubt. You know, I was sceptical about going to Riyadh for a fight because my experience of the big heavyweight championships has been Vegas, New York, London, at Wembley, and Kinshasa. Uh, Kinshasa. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I thought, oh, well, it won't be much of a show. You know, I'm talking not about the fight, but about what goes on around it. And I must say, I was knocked out by it myself. As it was a wonderful experience, and it was a tremendous uh, performance by the promoters out there. You know, uh, His Excellency, who I met for the first time, is boxing mad, and he did do the sport proud. He absolutely did. And as he always does. Frank, Colin, thank you very much. Pleasure.